What's up guys, welcome back to the Sensei Session here with the champ, Karate Combat champ, Luis Rocha. We're gonna be showing some pretty cool stuff. Now, in the past you've seen me showing the, the fighters cool techniques, but this one is for you guys. Me and Luis Rocha, the champ, are gonna be showing you guys how to do a spin back kick. Yes, spin back kick, right? Do this in front of all the ladies, you'll be getting all the honeys, just, I'm just saying. Anyway, let's get after you, ready? Okay, so we're gonna start off with our left foot in front, okay? Hands up, good fighting stance. If you've never done this before, this is great to try anywhere, at home, in the backyard, in the gym, before class starts. Just drill this, and I'm gonna do this in two steps. Not one, eventually we wanna turn this into one step, but we're gonna do this into two steps so you guys understand it, can break it down, and practice. So, left foot's gonna be in front, good bladed stance, back heel off the floor. Now, most important, if this back heel is flat, very difficult to pull this technique off because you'll need to use that back foot in order to explode that back foot forward to land the kick. So, step number one. I'm gonna look over my back shoulder. My feet are not gonna move, but I'm gonna spin like so. Ooh. Right? Let's try that again. So, do this with me, guys. If you're watching, do this with me. Looking over my back shoulder, keeping my feet where they are, and I'm spinning. Ooh. Now, once I'm here, I want to be able to see my target. Now, if you notice, I'm looking down here at this, at the letter A, but I can still see you guys using my peripheral vision. Now, from here, I'm going to take the back leg. I'm bringing it up, right? I want my foot to be facing you, which is my weapon. I don't want my knee to come up too high. Good way to get that kick jammed. So once I'm here, back foot comes up aiming at my target using the heel, and then I extend out and I, and I place it in front. So he kicks, extends, and places it in front. Now if you notice, whenever my man Rocha did the spin back kick, he extended all the way out, right? His back foot was facing this direction, he's chambered, he extends out, and he rechambers. Why do I rechamber? Number one, I don't want the foot to be caught, okay? If you catch the foot, they can use it against you, down you go. Second reason I want to rechamber my leg is maybe I want to kick again. So I rechamber, and that way I can kick again if need be. And three, I want to place my foot down, not fall forward. Because if my opponent takes a half a step back, you miss, and as you come down, they're going to be drilling you with the right hand. So let's break this down one more time. Good fighting stance. Step one, the spin, right? I'm looking over my back shoulder. I see you guys. Here we go. Foot comes up. Extends out, rechambers, and then we place back into our fighting stance. All right, two steps. One more time. One to spin. Boom. Seeing the target. Two, extend. Bop. And set it down. Back into a good fighting stance. That's it. The spin back kick, you guys. Practice it. And I want you to practice it so much, it becomes one movement. Right? You want it eventually to become, boom, one movement at the target where your, partner doesn't, your opponent doesn't even see it coming. Spin back kick, go practice it like right now. Us. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.